Hello guys, yo, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking. Hope you guys are doing great. My name is Bukumi BK Kran. So I'll be reacting to this video title. Don't be surprised. This country doesn't have a mask, but Islam is growing rapidly here. So let's watch. Islam is one of the religions with the second largest number of adherents in the world. That way you can be sure that in all countries, there are Muslim residents. But even so, you know not if there are still some countries that have a Muslim population, but do not have a mosque in the country. Surely most of you don't know. Therefore, check out this short video clip only in Christian Islamic circles. The first country is Slovakia. Approximately, what do you know about the country of Slovakia? In full, this country is called the Slovak Republic or Slovakia. This country is a fragment of the sovereign state of Czechoslovakia in Central Europe. In the past, before World War I broke out, this country was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Speaking of the development of Islam in the country with Bratislava as its capital, it seems that many of us do not know that Slovakia is one of the countries that does not have a single mosque there. That fact, just as CNN reported, occurred when Slovakia received immigrants from the Middle East who were victims of civil war. Reportedly, Slovakia is willing to help reduce the wave of European refugees by accommodating 200 immigrants from Syria. However, they require their immigrants to be Christians because Slovakia does not have a mosque for Muslim immigrants to worship. Slovak Interior Ministry spokesman Ivan Nedic said, we don't have mosques in Slovakia. We don't want Muslim immigrants to feel at home in Slovakia, which has a small Muslim population here. It is known that there are currently only about 2,000 Muslims in Slovakia. But do you know why there are no mosques in Slovakia? It's all because the country passed a law that effectively banned Islam as one of the official religions there. Next is the country of Cuba. Although famous for having the best health system and insurance in the world, Cuba also has a fact that not many people may know. According to statistical data, Cuba has around 3,000 Muslims there, representing 0.03% of Cuba's population. Despite their minority status, interestingly, Muslims in Cuba have never been reported to suffer violence or religious sentiment, either in society or government. This Caribbean island nation is the only one in the Caribbean without a mosque. According to a news report, they only worship in their own homes. In addition, they also collectively rent a building, such as a shop building, so that they can worship in congregation. An Islamic organization in Cuba, Havana Muslim Community, reportedly submitted a request to the government to build a mosque. Even since 2015, the foundation stones and signage for the construction of the mosque have been built. But according to Pedro Lasutors, the leader of the organization, for the consideration of the local government, they refuse to continue the construction. Next up is the country of Estonia. Estonia is one of the 16 countries of the Soviet Union. This country holds many of the most historic churches in the world, making it designated by UNESCO as one of the world's heritage sites. Because of this, it is natural that Muslims are a minority. They are known to live in the midst of Protestant and Orthodox Christians, who are the majority. Reportedly, Estonia's Muslim population only accounts for 1% of the country's total population. Currently, about 50% of Estonian Muslims live in Tallinn, and the rest live in areas such as Nakvera and Narva. Reported from a source, there are no mosques in Estonia. In their daily lives, there are only apartment rooms that are used for congregational prayers and Islamic activities, such as Islamic lectures, Arabic language courses, and learning the Quran. Next up is the country of Uruguay. 
Uruguay is the second smallest country in Latin America. Bordered by Brazil to the north, the Uruguay River to the west, the Rio de la Plata or River Plate to the west, and Argentina on the opposite bank. Like many Latin countries, Islam is a minority religion in Uruguay. According to the International Religious Freedom Report, the Muslim population in Uruguay is only around 0.1%, or approximately 300 to 400 people, most of whom live on the Brazilian border. Despite their minority status, Uruguay reportedly guarantees its citizens the right to embrace and practice religion. Another country is Monaco. Monaco is a sovereign state in Western Europe. The country, which only covers 2.02 square kilometers, borders France on three sides. Monaco is said to be the second smallest and most densely populated country in the world. As is known, Roman Catholicism is the official religion of Monaco, which is followed by 83.2% of the population. As many as 12.9% of the population have no religion, and 2.9% are Jews. Then what about the Muslim population there? According to an article on the website, the Muslim population in Monaco only consists of about 280 people, most of whom are Arabs and Turks. It is also known that Monaco does not have a single mosque there. Therefore, for Muslims who will perform worship in congregation, they usually do it in a mosque in the neighboring country of France, As we know, the mosque is a place of worship that is very meaningful to Muslims, besides functioning as a place of prayer. The mosque is also used as a place to deepen the knowledge of Islam among its adherents. No wonder the existence of a mosque is very important for Muslims in a region or country. But it turns out that there are also some countries that do not have mosques because the majority of the population is non-Muslim. Besides that, there are also other reasons that make a country not have a mosque, among others, because of the policy of the government itself, or because of regional limitations. Those are some countries that don't have mosques, but have Muslim populations. Are there any other countries that you know of? Let us know in the comments column. Thank you. Wow, amazing. The fact that these particular countries don't really have mosques, or most of them have very, very few mosques, and Islam is growing rapidly over there. It's amazing to realize, like, it's so, so perplexing, guys. I'm so short of words, especially that Suvekia, Suvekia, where they said there was no mosque at all, but people keep worshipping Allah. They, they, they have, you know, some number of population, they have some population of Islam over there, and that's beautiful. Like, I'm short of words, like, I can't imagine that a, a religion will be so popular in some countries and they don't have a place of worship. It's just like you're saying that Christianity is in, is in this country and there's no churches. Then how do people do, do, do you pray in, maybe they pray in their homes or they pray in a very, you know, private place or they, you know, and one thing about Muslim, they pray anywhere they find themselves. Even in the field, at the roadside, as long as it's a place that they can have their privacy, to commune with Allah, they are cool with that. And that's so amazing to know that even without them having a mosque in their country, that does not, you know, limit them from serving God. That does not, you know, make them not, that, 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 that was not an excuse for them not to serve God. That even charged them up. They were being charged up to do more of God to do more work of god and that was beautiful wow amazing i'm so speechless guys but that was beautiful to you know to watch beautiful thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one